This is Nico's story so far. So to first introduce you, this is Nico. Sit. Good boy. This is Nico. He is a rescue pup. We think he's almost two years old now. Uh, border Collie mix. Really. He does this every time. Why well, you gotta lay down, huh? So as I was saying, Nico is a Border Collie mix. I really want to do one of those DNA tests. Uh, to see exactly how old he is and also what kind of other breeds he has in him but for now all I know for sure is that he has Border Collie in him. In December 2017, Nico was found inside a crate outside of a local Petco. He had been left there overnight and my friend who worked there at the time decided to foster him until he found the right home. So around March, I went over to my friend's house and I don't even think that I really knew she was fostering a dog at the time. Um, she already had one husky and then she had Nico on top of that. So uh, I went over and I heard both dogs barking and I was like, you have another dog? And she was like, oh, I'm fostering this dog that we found outside of Petco. I was not looking to get a dog at this time, keep in mind. I had just moved back to Houston from the Chicago suburbs area, and I had just moved into my new apartment, and I was not seriously considering getting a dog until I met him. I, when I met Nico, everything just clicked. He was so scared of everything, everyone, um, especially men and dogs that are bigger than him, but he and I just hit it off immediately. I mean, I we just fell in love. When I was over at her house, he would sit by me and sit in my lap, and I would just pet him. And needless to say, he definitely stole my heart. <laughs> Getting Nico was one of the best things that I ever did. I mean, wh right when I got him, I was super nervous. Um, I had taken him home uh, to my apartment, and I was thinking, oh my god, I don't know if I can do this. Like, I, I don't know if this was the right move for me. And he made everything so easy. And I know that's not the case with every rescue dog. I was so blessed with Nico. I mean, he was really scared of everything, but he was so well behaved. He never did anything bad. Um, I did have to potty train him, but that didn't take more than like a week. Um, so again, I'm very, very lucky to have Nico. Um, I remember when I first took him home, he jumped on the bed and would not get off of it. Like he was like, oh my God, this is the best thing in the entire world. I'm pretty sure he had never been in a bed before that because he was like freaking out. Um, he loved it and he would not get off of it. And then um, of course he slowly started to get used to everything. and. I would take him on walks and we go to the dog park and we were just having pretty much the time of our lives. Unfortunately, this past June, we found out Nico had heartworm. So for those of you who don't know what heartworm is or how it's caused, heartworm is caused by an infected mosquito biting your dog or cat. So it takes about six to seven months for these larvae that are put into the bloodstream by the mosquito to turn into adult heartworms. So what we assume happened with Nico is that he was bit by an infected mosquito before December of 2017 when he was rescued because ever since then he's been put on a heartworm preventative called HeartGuard. So one of the symptoms of heartworm is coughing and that is the only one Nico showed at the very beginning. So um, Nico started having these coughing fits beginning of June and at first I didn't really know what they were, you know, I, he did sneeze a lot, so I thought it might be allergies, I couldn't really tell until um, my sister was running him down the hall in my apartment and he started coughing uncontrollably, it was really bad, and so we took him to the vet. So when we went to the vet, he thought that Nico might have kennel cough, uh, which is easily treated, and um, <laughs> uh, but he wanted to take a blood test just to make sure it wasn't heartworm and of course that freaked me out a lot because if left untreated um, heartworm can be fatal to dogs so he came back of course and told us that that's what it was and I cried uncontrollably I couldn't hold back my tears it was so sad to think that like I had no clue he had heartworm the vet told me since he had already started showing symptoms 
that Nico would need to have a longer form of treatment um, to kind of extend it and make sure that they didn't kill the worms too fast. So Nico's treatment was a three month process. The first month of June, the vet put him on doxycycline, which is an antibiotic. Um, the second month in July, he had his first heartworm injection, and then he had to take prednisone and a painkiller after that. When I picked him up from the vet after he had had his first injection, he was so lifeless, in pain. I could tell he was limping from where the injection site was, which is totally normal. The vet told me that that might happen, but it was just probably one of the saddest days um, of treatment. On top of this, when he was feeling a little bit better after that first injection, he couldn't run around and play. He was on extreme exercise restriction. Then in the third month of August, he would have two more injections. One would be administered one day and then 24 hours later, he would have to get another. During the time period from the first injection to the second, the vet likes to keep them at the animal hospital overnight to make sure that they don't have any adverse side effects. When I went to go pick him up from his last two injections, I tried to prepare myself for the absolute worst. Um, I remembered how bad he was after the first injection, so I only imagined having two would just be absolutely unbearable for him. I was wrong, thankfully. <laughs> when I went to go grab him from the vet, he was freaking out. He was so excited to see me. I think part of it was probably because uh, he had seen me in more than 24 hours and that's probably the longest that we have ever been away from each other. Um, he was so excited to see me. He was wagging his tail. He looked so energetic. He looked like a brand new dog and I was so, so, so excited um, to see him feeling a little bit better. Fast forward into this month of September, Nico had his last and final checkup. So we went in for a blood test to see if he had officially gotten rid of all of those worms and it came back negative. We are super excited to get back out there and start playing again after three months of not doing anything. He's been trapped inside this apartment for way too long. So we've been going on long walks. We have some hikes planned. We have a road trip to Chicago planned. It's gonna be great. So I'll definitely be taking my camera with me and I cannot wait to see what the future holds.